Hello friends, welcome to Premier UPSC. So today we are going to discuss about Morley Minto reforms of modern history. Morley Minto reforms of 1909. Background of the Morley Minto reforms. A group of Muslim elites formed a similar deputation led by the Aga Khan and others in October 1906. They met Lord Minto and demanded separate electorates and representation for the Muslims. They also took over to the Muslim League. Muslim League was initially started by Nawab Salimullah of Dhaka along with the Nawabs Mohsin al Mulk and Waqar al Mulk in December 1906. Gopal Krishna Gokhale went to England on behalf of Congress to meet John Morley. They had put demands of a self governing system similar to that in other British colonies such as Canada and Australia. John Morley agreed for some reforms that were to placate the moderates as well as the Muslims. They introduced a new set of measures that came to be known as the Morley Minto reforms that translated into Indian Councils Act of 1909. Indian Council Act of 1909. The elective principle was recognized for the non official membership for Indians in the legislative councils on the basis of class and community. Separate electorates were adopted for Muslims for election to the Central Council. The number of elected members in the Imperial Legislative Council and the Provincial Legislative Councils was increased. The Imperial Legislative Council included 69 members. 37 were to be the officials, 32 were to be the non-officials, 5 nominated and 27 elected. The 27 elected non-officials were divided as follows. 8 seats were reserved for Muslims under separate electorates, 4 seats were reserved for British capitalists, 2 for the landlords, and 13 came under the general electorate. The elected members were indirectly elected. The local bodies elected an electoral college, which in turn elected members of provincial legislatures, who in turn would elect members of central legislature. The powers of both the central and provincial legislatures were enlarged. The legislatures could now pass resolutions, ask questions and supplementary questions, vote separate items in the budget, though the budget as a whole could not be voted upon. Satyendra Sinha became first Indian to be appointed to the Vice Vice Executive Council in 1909. Evaluation of Morley Minto Reforms John Morley made it clear that self-government was not suitable for India and he was against the introduction of responsible government in India. The reforms aimed at dividing Indians by rallying the moderates and the Muslims against the rising tide of nationalism. Also, the system of election was indirect and it was seen as the infiltration of legislatures through a number of sieves. The reforms gave to the people a shadow rather than substance. Instead of self-government, they were given a benevolent despotism as there was no responsibility. First Phase of Revolutionaries Beginning of Revolutionary Phase 1 The extremist movement gave birth to revolutionary activities as a byproduct after the decline of the Swadeshi and boycott movement started by the extremists, the younger nationalists who had participated in the movement found it impossible to leave off. The avenues of peaceful political protest closed to them as the extremists couldn't form an effective organization. To achieve the nationalist goals of independence, they thought that the British must be expelled physically by force. The revolutionaries of the early phase considered that it was not practical to create a violent mass revolution throughout the country at that time. They opted to follow the methods of Russian nihilists and the Irish nationalists and resorted to individual heroic actions such as organizing assassinations of unpopular officials and of traitors and became inferior informers among the revolutionaries themselves. They conducted decoities to raise funds for revolutionary activities during the First World War, organized military conspiracies with an expectation of help from the enemies of Britain. Revolutionary Activities in Bengal The first revolutionary group came up in Midnapur under Nanindra Nath Basu in 1902. Anushilan Samiti In Calcutta, Anushilan Samiti was founded by Pramoda Mitter, Jatindranath Banerjee, Barindra Kumar Ghosh and others. 
In 1996, Barindra Kumar Ghosh, Bhupendra Nath Dutta of Anushiran Samiti started the weekly called Yugantar and conducted a few abortive actions. Rush Bihari Bose and Sachin Sanyal organized the secret societies in Punjab, Delhi and United Provinces. Hema Chandra Kanungo went abroad for military and political training. Derailing a train. In December 1907, they attempted to derail the train in which Andrew Fraser the lieutenant governor was travelling muzaffarpur bombing in 1908 prafulla chaki and khudiram bose threw a bomb at a carriage which was supposed to be carrying a sadistic white judge exford in muzaffarpur but the judge was not in it and two british ladies got killed prafulla chaki killed himself to avoid capture and khudiram bose was tried and hanged Entire Anushilan Samiti was arrested, including Arubindo and Barindra Ghosh, and tried in Alipur conspiracy case, also called as Manikthala bomb conspiracy. Chitranjan Das defended Arubindo Ghosh and was acquitted of all charges. However, Barindra Ghosh, as the head of the secret society of revolutionaries, and Ullaskar Dutt, as the maker of bombs, were convicted and given the death penalty. Narendra Goswami had turned approver and was a crown witness. He was later shot dead by two co-accused Satyendranath Bose and Kanaila Dutta. Barra Dakoiti. It was organized by Dhaka branch of Anushilan under Pulin Das to raise funds for revolutionary activities in 1908. The public prosecutor was shot dead in Calcutta in 1909 and a deputy superintendent in 1910. Delhi conspiracy Rash Bihari Bose and Sachin Sanyal threw a bomb at the Viceroy Hardinge in a procession in Chandni Chowk of Delhi in December 1912 Hardinge escaped with injuries this case was called the Delhi conspiracy trial Basant Kumar Biswas Amir Chand and Avad Bihari were convicted and executed for their roles in the conspiracy Rash Bihari Bose however evaded arrest and escaped in a disguise Zimmerman plan Jatindranath Mukherjee is also known as Bagha Jatin emerged as the leader of Yugantar He revitalized the links between the central organization in Calcutta and other places in Bengal Bihar and Odisha Yugantar party arranged to import German arms and ammunition through the revolutionaries abroad during the first world war Bagha Jatin asked Rash Bihari Bose to take charge of the Upper India aiming to bring about an all India insurrection This was called the German plot or the Zimmermann plot A series of dacoities were done to raise funds these were called the taxi cab dacoities and boat dacoities They planned a guerrilla force to start an uprising in the country and wanted to seize Fort William and raise a mutiny by armed forces This plot was leaked out by a traitor and police captured Bagha Jatin while he was waiting for the delivery of German arms. The Zimmerman plan thus failed and Bagha Jatin was shot and died a hero's death in Balasore in September 1915. He gave a call we shall die to awaken the nation. Revolutionary activities in Maharashtra. The first revolutionary activity in Maharashtra was the organization of Ramosi rebellion by Vasudev Balwant Bhatke in 1879. He aimed to rid the country of the British by instigating an armed revolt by disrupting the communication lines. In 1897 Champ- Chapekar brothers Damodar and Balkrishna murdered left in Ayers and Rand the plague commissioner of Pune. V D Savarkar organized Mitra Mela, a secret society, in 1899, which later merged with Avinav Bharat in 1904. It was inspired by Mazini's Young Italy. A M T Jackson, the collector of Nashik, was killed by Anand Lakshman Khanhere, a member of Avinav Bharat, in 1909. Revolutionary activities in Punjab. In Punjab, Lala Rajput Rai brought out Punjabi and Ajit Singh, uncle of Bhagat Singh. organized the extremist anjumane mohsbane watan in lahore with its journal bharat mata aga haider sayed haider raza bhai pramanand parmanand and the radical urdu poet lalchand falak were other leaders in punjab the extremists in punjab 
subsided quickly with a severe government repression in May 1907. They imposed a ban on political meetings and they deported Lal Lajpat Rai and Ajit Singh. Revolutionary Activities Abroad India House Shamji Krishna Verma started the India Home Rule Society called the India House in London in 1905. He also started a journal, The Indian Socialist Sociologist. It was a center for Indian students, a scholarship scheme to bring radical youth from India. The revolutionaries such as Savarkar and Lala, Lala Hardayal were the members of India House. Madan Lal Dhingra, who assassinated the India office bureaucrat Thurzon Willi in 1909, belonged to it. Based at London, Paris and Berlin, Savarkar was extradited in 1910 and transported for life in the Nazi conspiracy case and London became the dangerous for revolutionary activities. Paris and Berlin emerged as a new centre. Madame Bikaji Kama, a Parsi revolutionary, operated from here. She had developed contacts with French socialists and brought out Vande Matram and Ajit Singh joined her. After 1909, when Anglo-German relations deteriorated, Virendranath Chattopadhyay chose Berlin as his base. Gadar Party 1913 Pre-Gadar revolutionary activities in the US were carried on by the following revolutionaries in 1911. Ram Das Puri, G. D. Kumar, Taraknath Das, Sohan Singh Bhakna and Lala Hardayal. They had set up a Swadesh Sevak home at Vancouver and United India House at Seattle. Finally, the Gadar Party as a revolutionary group was set up in 1913. It also operated a weekly newspaper called The Gadar from San Francisco. It set up branches along the US coast and in the Far East. It included ex-soldiers and peasants who had migrated from Punjab to the USA and Canada in search of better employment opportunities. It aimed to organize assassinations of officials, publish revolutionary and anti-imperialist literature, supply arms and bring about a simultaneous revolt in all British colonies. They were also encouraged by Komagacha, Maru incident and the outbreak of the First World War in 1914. Komagata Maru incident of 1914 Komagata Maru was a ship carrying 370 passengers from Singapore to Vancouver. They were turned back by the Canadian authorities after two months of uncertainty influenced by the British government. The ship reached Calcutta in 17 September 1914 and the inmates refused to board the train towards Punjab. There was a conflict with the police at Baj Baj near Calcutta and 22 persons died. This event inflamed the Gadrites and they decided to launch a violent attack to oust British rule in India. Gadrites in India Sartar Singh Sarabha and Raghubhar Dayal Gupta came to India for carrying out the activities. They contacted the Bengal-based revolutionaries. Rash Bihar Bosi and Sachin Sayal led the movement and they carried out decoities targeting the money lenders to raise the funds. In Punjab, they fixed February 21, 1915 as the date for an armed revolt in Ferozpur, Lahore and Rawalpindi. The plan was foiled due to treachery from the insider. The authorities took repressive action and rebellious regiments were disbanded. They arrested and hanged 45 revolutionaries of them. Rajbihari Bose fled to Japan while Sachin Sanyal was transported for life. The Defense of India Act was passed in March 1915 to smash the Ghadar movement and carried out large-scale detentions without trial. Revolutionaries in Europe Virendranath Chattopadhyay established Berlin Committee for Indian Independence in 1915. They sent missions to Baghdad, Persia, Turkey and Kabul to work among the Indian troops and the Indian prisoners of wars to incite anti-British feelings among the people of these countries. Raja Mahindranath Pratap Singh, Barkatullah and Obedullah Sindhi went to Kabul to organize a provincial Indian government there with the help of the Crown Prince Amanullah. Decline of the Phase 1 After the First World War, the first phase of the revolutionary activities cooled down due to the release of prisoners held under the defense of India rules. The British also used a conciliation and Montagu, the Secretary of the State, issued August 1917 statement for constitutional reforms. 
the coming of gandhi on the scene also brought about non violent non cooperation movements which promised new hope thank you so this was all about the monte 